The union of South Korea's largest automaker has launched a full-scale strike after rejecting an earlier compromise on a wage increase. Hyundai Motor will meet the union representatives again this week for another round of negotiations. According to our Kim Min-ji, it's expected to cause significant damage to the auto giant and its subcontractors. Unionized workers at Hyundai Motor have walked off the job after rebuffing a compromise on a wage hike. Assembly lines at the automaker's factories in Ulsan, Jeonju, and Asan were all halted early Monday morning. The full strike, the first of its kind in 12 years, is seen as a move to pressure the company to put forward a new wage proposal. Monday's full strike alone is expected to cost Hyundai some 145 million U.S. dollars or loss in production of 7,200 cars. The union has held partial strikes 19 times during the months-long negotiations, resulting in production loss of 100,000 cars or roughly $2 billion. For the rest of the week, the union plans to stage partial strikes of six hours, with the exception of days when there are negotiations, when they will walk out for four hours. The two sides reached a tentative agreement last month to raise workers' monthly wages by about $50 and give a bonus of 350 percent of their monthly pay and a separate cash bonus of roughly $3,000. The company also scrapped a plan to introduce a wage peak system where wages fall at a certain age in exchange for a longer time on the job, which had been one of the most contentious issues. The proposal was rejected by unionists with nearly 80 percent voting it down. Management says the union has gone back on its word by turning down the earlier agreement, saying it will take a toll not only on Hyundai but its subcontractors and the local economy. The union and management are planning to meet again this week in an attempt to reach another tentative deal. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.